deny Aspas opping angles, especially when Aspas gets set up on the defensive side. We saw the last two, the last time these two teams faced, Valen, intuition on point, the Cascades were denying Reveal so much area. info for Aspas. So what can King do in this series to mask where the operator is and enable I mean, Aspas? This is an early start. I know it's not the operator, but he's already corralling and controlling his troops. He's already sent three down belong the alarm about to only him keeping him back as Leaf is doing his best to hold the line and they're not gonna see him. He's gonna spot both and he's gonna clean them up. What a start for Leaf. Meanwhile, well, the yeah. rest of G2 is taken A. Exactly, the spike's already planted. Lev is a little worse for wear. Gets tagged up by a classic, but this post plant's gonna be so deadly. Poison's I off. mean, this is a, a dreadful start for Lev. It couldn't have gone any worse. You think about trying to create a little bit of chaos at the beginning of the round to catch your opposition off guard, if you will. Mm -hmm. This is not what they imagined. It's not how they drew it up. And now Jonah P swinging out, not able to clean it up. A ball dropped from the top rope. G2 get the pistol. What a good start. Very, very convincing from G2. All that prep work. They know that Osboss and King like to be very aggressive in B main. So the pistol approach, it was quick. It was decisive. And Leaf, you play this to perfection right here. Two freebies. And Jonah P, he had this great flank around to close out the round. But he was somebody that was pivotal for G2 in the win last time around. step at B, baby. The G2 boys are already vibing. But yeah, Jonah P, he was a big reason why G2 took out Lev the last time around on Icebox. He had like 21 kills or something of the sort. It's a 4-1 approach again. So the conditioning for G2, it's back-to-back -back rounds, showing the same look and full utility for Leaf here. All stops covered. Right here. A little bit of noise made towards A. You've got Calm, the only one left to hold the line. We even got squiggly walls coming out from the harbor. Yep. But G2 should be able to and will get the spike down. They've got the Phantom investment into Jonah P as well. They've, they've thrown a lot of money into this tray. Yeah, why not? They understand the game plan of Leviathan so far. It's been that two-pronged approach towards B. Nothing really fighting them at A. At this point, anything that they can get there. Maybe a little bit of action across the middle of the map. Leave once again, catching text. Aspas was there to respond in kind this time around. And Molly looks like it was just a little bit deep. So Com can hold on this for just a little bit. But at best here, you die to the spike. Yeah. Jonah P is going to get a little bit closer to having the pit online. Balan's going to get a reward for his troubles as well. So some damage done. I think the big takeaway here, Jonah P keeps his rifle. Icy does as well. Yeah. All the big guns in the arsenal for G2 are kept. Only a Stinger lost and what, a Ghost from Leaf. So that, that allows him to invest fully into a Vandal. And it's been back-to-back 4-1s -back towards A site heavy. And that's why you're seeing a change of pace already from G2. We saw in the interview, it, it, it was said by King, it's going to be a, a battle of the minds. Yeah. Who's going to game plan? Who's going to adapt on the fly? Who's going to counter? You see Lever trying to get ahead of it, but everything's looking towards B now. It's interesting to see how the rest of this plays out because Aspas is consistent no I matter what. Yeah. Right? Like, he's world class. He's the greatest of all time. Like, you know what you're going to get with him, and you know he's going to deliver regardless of circumstances. It's interesting to see when Lev don't play well, it's because the supporting crew doesn't deliver. And so you try to shut down Aspas as best as you can, but finding value elsewhere is really where things turn around. Tex really struggled the last time they played. He's had a quiet start to this game. Oh, Valen turns at the wrong moment. What a timing there. Aspas getting another numbers the way of the defense. As I see in Trent are the only two that remain. Yeah, they managed to get the spike down, but Trent's in such a brutal spot. And he's got a specter in a 1v4. Oh. He gets oh, spotted. He got spotted. Yeah, surely he was seen. He's able to clean up the first. The Cove will keep the collateral away. A tap to draw some utility. Realizing everyone around him. Khan's going to hang on to the defuse. He's probably sick the whole way. There's nothing really to stop him. If you swing out, you're facing all three. He will drop one. That's another rifle down. Only two carried over for left. That was a fast pace again from G2. A fast mid to B. This time around. Just getting caught looking at the wrong angles in clearing the actual site. And it was kind of freebies that Leviathan were just given. Like, like that right one, there. Yeah. Yeah. Looking away. Yeah, Aspas winning this 1v1 against Jonah P. 
and yeah, it just all crumbled apart. But the start of the round was very impressive. And the change of pace and the change of a look from G2. And now they're going to go back to the tied and true from the first couple of rounds, and it's going to be an A default. Yeah, and this is where I think the game really starts. Across this entire tournament, these two teams have the best gun round win rate. This is where the series will be decided. Leaf lighting up the kill yeah. feed already. Back to back entries from Leaf. Another one. The head to head IGL v IGL. Balan, he comes out on top. That's where the mind games will play themselves out as Leaf is getting another. Dude, this, this, I mean, this is insane form for Leaf this early in a series. Yeah, it's something he struggled with the last time they played Icebox as well. He's known for being that duelist type figure on this map. When he gets heated up, I mean, it's, it's so difficult to play against. Because from the side of G2, they've been running this no-duelist comp all year long. He really has been that guy that gets a lot of the first bloods. He's been so consistent. And then you put him on defense, and we think about all the clips mm -hmm. he's hit with, like, the Outlaw, for example, posted up back A. He's just been so steady for this squad. And, and Tex has actually taken a page out of his book as well and mm -hmm. stepped up in his own right. But so far, Tex hasn't really come out on top on those first engagements. And the A fight from Leviathan, it just wasn't enough. G2 oh. were ready for every single angle. And so the first gun round will go the way of G2. And Lev, I mean, at best, they're just trying to clutch onto these two rifles that they have left. <laughs> Try to carry them over. And I think when you when you when we start to like branch out on the trajectory and the forecast for the rest of the half, you've got Leaf who has his ult online, Balan has his ult online as well. Jonah P's just a couple of points away from having to pit. I see as well. He's almost, he's close to Thrash, and we saw how crazy Thrash can be on this map. Lev is in a really dangerous spot early on Icebox here. Yes, I know it's early, and yes, I know they have Icebox, and yes, all these things, but again, I want to remind you guys of the history between these two on Icebox. Three losses for Lev the entire year, yeah. two of them at the hands of G2, and you've got them in a position snowball right now over. where this, this tiny little snowball can very quickly become an avalanche. Yeah, G2 are I seven. Think, I think they think we have an A game plan. Ah, see, see? It's the mind games already, just like I said. But <laughs> I'm G almost concerned that yeah. that means he doesn't have an A game. No, no. <laughs> G G2 are 7-9 and nine on Icebox this year. It hasn't been one of their shining yeah, lights yeah. of their map pool. You're right. But the two wins they have against Lev are 13-8. And the right. only loss they have was a 16-14 or something OT. Yeah. I got to play them really well on this map, and we're seeing it play out. And another good read. Nobody really here to reciprocate from the side of Leviathan. It's a free site. The Harbor Ultimate's invested just in case. I mean, just Khan, he just got his ult online. Does he invest it in this round? Well, they haven't planted That's the spike yet. This is very late. Yeah, just making sure the site is entirely clear. Mm -hmm. No stone left unturned. The timing on this two-man flank is going to be interesting. The problem is it's always been Tex and it's always been Aspas on these late flanks. And there's four members waiting for it. So yeah. all the prep work, all the studying that G2 have done going into this match, you just see it on the minimap and even through how the map has been played. Mm -hmm. It seems like they're gonna try. If there's a dart tag, he's in a position. Go ahead and pop the ult. That's exactly what he does. The first splits the upright. Jonah P swinging into the wall, able to find a little bit of value. So not much more than that. Meanwhile, the thrash was dropped in the midst of all of that. Spike has been taking for a little while as Trent is dead. Icy doing his best to hold the line into the face of the double swing. But how much more can it be? Leaf not able to settle the shots, but the time is way too short. They burn the clock all the way down as G2 gets a four. That was a big, big investment from Leviathan. The Hunter's Fury from Calm, it didn't get a lot of value. Yeah, some kills went their way. But the time on that flank that you were mentioning about Osboss and Tex, it took too long. And it was it was a good play from them not to actually commit to that because they would have been met by four members. Oh, that wall just came up right in time. Jonah B got a little antsy and some of the shots couldn't settle nice. to the side of G2. Nice. That's not much. Very nice damage. Beautiful. Five weapons and no time, no time. Who cares, bro? Yeah. Think I mean. about this war play out between these two squads. Yeah, I mean, you, you've already heard it from the side of G2. They're willing to give up these little things if it means the greater victory. And so far, that's what we've got. Oh. Tex just got deleted, Doug. Absolutely deleted. But you were speaking about war, and you're absolutely right. This is a war of attrition. Both these teams grind out rounds back and forth, especially in this matchup. And right now, G2 are two steps ahead. That Harbor Ultimate was committed by Mizzino, but nobody is there at A site, and the spike is being planted at B. You want to talk about 
master classes and IG yelling right now. Balan is calling a sick game. Dude, this, this, I mean, this gun round is probably over. At this point, think about how long the spike has been down, like you said. They've got the pit that they're gonna have to navigate. I mean, they don't really have any tools to get around it. They've got Tom thrown, sure, but is that gonna be enough? How do you break through this post plant defense? You can wrap around yellow, but the uh, Viper's pit is so strong. That's what they're trying to do. You've got Trent, who's playing in Cubby, to hold them back, and then you've got Leaf, who's in the fray as well. One enemy There's remaining. no way in for Lev. No, an absolute firing squad met as soon as that harbor wall goes down. They they took the hard bait, they invested the reckoning, and mm -hmm. imagine how valuable that tool would have been to clear out the pit. <laughs> what, a, what a play from G2 so far, and we, we got to see a timeout from the side of Leviathan. We absolutely have to, because it's it's getting out of hand very fast. What, what a shot from Icy. You what was the cue there? Just intuition, he just flicks down it right at head level there. Enemies you talk about team. a guy who's, who's been on the receiving end. Running of... circles around him, Jake. Yep. That's facts. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's how it's played out. Man, you think about a, a guy back to the guard days. It goes, I mean, you just roll the, the yeah. Rolodex back as far as you want. Like, right here. Yeah, and you, you see evidence of that. You see receipts right of that the whole way through. I mean, Leviathan are already wishing they could have rolled back this round, or this map. So far, it's a 5-1 lead for G2, and as Trent said, they're running circles around the Vuitton right now. And the game plan, it's, it's so similar to the last, uh, last time these two teams played. Find Osboss, go the other way, or find Osboss and you till bomb him. Jeez. And he hasn't got an operator up yet. Yeah, Hopefully no, next he round he can get that up. He still has knives, and there is the lockdown for Tex, so if anybody on the A site gets a pick, you see Calm with the Vandal, Maybe you invest it. We've definitely seen so far that Leviathan aren't shy to invest ultimates in their eco rounds or their sure. weird buys. Take flight. Already seen evidence of that. Trent using his drone. He will spot one, and it was Tex. But no right real idea that comms up close to personal on the other side of the wall. Oh my goodness. A second set of water comes through, and Trent falls, drowning beneath the pressure. A one for one. And that's already a big win out for Lev. I mean, if you can keep this this close, given the lighter weaponry that you have, sure. And just a Thirty freeze seconds to the left. round, waiting for any more type of peak. Movement being heard now. Tex, he gets an upgrade. So there's a chance for Leviathan to bring this one back. Uh, they're, they're fighting, though. Kam is going to have to do so much. Tex was already on the rotate out. But now, as the wall goes up, as the kill goes down for Kam, he rotates back. Aspas has joined. 13 seconds left. The blades Spikes online and available. Oh. That's big out from Tex. It's going to be about left alone in a 1v3. Aspas' blade still in play. He spotted a shoulder. Can he settle the shots? Dropping down, buying time as the spike ticks away. That's a snappy shot onto King, but you still got the raid boss on the other side. And he delivers again for G2, the Red Bull clutch, as they hit six. And it's not just that he delivers. It's who he just delivered against. That was Aspas in a 1v1 who had a rifle. The jiggling, the movement back and forth at top nest from Valen. It was so clean. Ospos, he had the knives. You can't just shoot him at the body. It's so hard to hit. And that shot on King, too. Insane work from Valen. When he's feeling it like this, G2 feel like an unstoppable force to be reckoned with. They got so close in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. So, so close. I mean, they didn't drop a series unless until it was against Gen.G and then against Heretics. Now this is a much more familiar foe. But the objective is the same. Mm -hmm. And the last time G2 lost, it was against Lev. You know they want that revenge arc. A site has been just dominated by G2. Avoiding the operator once again, but they're running into a stack here with Texas Utility. So, and the stack. There are three here. Tex has his ult, King has his ult. Well, Tex doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> or he's not gonna be using it this round anyway. Yeah, he's playing so aggressive in backside. That's back to back rounds, he's done that. I love this cascade. Oh, the freebie as well. We'll take that any day. Calm, he answers back though. And the money for Lev is not great. I don't think they can really, unless it's a lot of kills out from Com and from King, 
Aspas has to be careful. An investment of the op being lost here is so dreadful. Jonah P in a 1v3. King 12, HP, that's the first one, that's the weak one. But comms, three kills on the round, gets Lev their second, and the op is kept from Aspas. The desk said it, Calm. he's been stepping up huge. And in this moment, when his team really needed him, it was looking dire. He stepped up once more, and he has another Hunter's Fury online for the next round. The entries were great from the side of G2, but the trading, the utility that Calm was using, three players scanned in that moment, and the shots that he's hitting. He's looking on point in this game so far. Back-to-back -back rounds that he's had big impact and given his team a chance. Top fragging for Leviathan. You mentioned the Hunter's Fury back online. Couple of bolts on the other side to meet. And there's a lot of presence towards A here. Really from both squads. It seems like both have just agreed to ignore the other side of the map. <laughs> We've seen this a lot in this tournament specifically. It's just an A fight after A fight. I mean, we saw it with Lev and Vitality just a little bit ago. Yep. A much Whoa. faster pace, Aspas with the miss. Has to dash out. The Reckoning dropped as well. A litany of ultimates invested. Trent will be the first to fall. I see swinging a little bit further. He probably should have. But they've got, managed to get the spike down now. Tex has a really big ult that he can try to flush the side out with. Mm -hmm. And he should do just that, especially when this drone gets so much info. And if he has to take a step back, fought by it. They don't really need to invest the lockdown anymore. It's just Jonah P left on the site. And with too many angles to clear, too many things to consider, and not enough guns to cover at all. He will fall. Lev get their third. That's another defuse coming through for Com, who just had a Hunter's Fury. Now yeah. one step closer to having it back online. The timeout working wonders for Leviathan. Back to back round wins. And Com, the Hunter's Fury. Trent couldn't get value, but he can. Some good work. King did such a good job in this round of staying alive against the Harbor Ultimate. And he could have gotten swarmed at any there, moment. Boys. There you go. And we heard something in the last match with Leviathan, you know, the, the coaching staff saying, now you're finally playing aggressive. That's what we just witnessed. They're taking the fight back to G2. They're not just conceding a site in its entirety. They know how good G2 are in the post-plant scenarios. You have to disrupt. I love this pit at the beginning. Think about how many times they've leaned towards A on the attacking side. Yeah. It's about time for a change of pace, so a good read mm -hmm. into the game for King now. And the battle of the mines. Right here. And then the ops still up on the opposite side of the map. Right here. They can freeze oh, yeah. for a long time Monster here, too. Oh, well, that'll flush it out. They're coming to the end of this place. They're not ready for tax. He gets a collat. What a spot to be in. And yeah, King gets caught. That should clear out the pit. Assuming the gun doesn't come up in time. How in the world does King get to? That is unbelievable. I've never seen something like that. He was dead to rights. Fresh off of the Thrash Detain, jumping in the air. A good setup for King, but you did not expect it to go this way with the shorty. That's how he closes it out. That's unreal. What a play from King. We talked about Aspas and we talk about IC and whether or not he can match it. And then, you know, we've got to talk about obviously Leaf and Tech. So my eyes go towards King and Valen. That's the matchup that I was most excited for in this match. And so far, it's delivering. Tom's in a really good spot here. Still has a lot of utility to play around, but position concealed. I don't think they saw him. They didn't see him. Only one found, though. You've dealt with Kam, you still have to take care of Mazzino. And now Reckoning invested. They're scattering. Reckoning and Lockdown, the combo. G2, they have to leave all of A site, work something else on the map. That turret's still up, though, in mid. Well, the thing is, though, you've got so much time left in the round. You have to have presence A to ensure that they're not just re-clearing and they're not hitting it again. That's why you see them push so far up past 410. Yeah, good proactivity. This is something that Vietan does quite often as well. Even when they're up numbers, they'll do this. You but imagine Jonah P's waiting yeah. for his orb to come back up so they can clear mid, not have to worry about the turret, but the timing is way too fishy. Aspas not able to settle a shot. A great response out from Trent. They've got to understand the jig is up. Leaf with the op. In a position like this, this is dangerous. Dropping Mazzino, the pit planted. 
And now a 2v2. Leafs oh. making that thing sing, man. Is this chamber meta again? He still has world. one more to deal with. A oh. big investment of the pit out from Jonah B, but I mean, content to secure the round is G2 as they get their seventh. Asbas, he that one whiff was the difference between G2 winning the round and losing the round. It all came down to that, honestly. All of a sudden, if Aspas gets that kill, he's able to get back, or even if he just survives in this moment. But what a shot hit by Trent in that moment. It gives Leaf the upgrade from the Outlaw to an Operator, and we've seen him off many times. Remember, this guy used to be a main duelist for all of his teams. 3K on the round for him, and then I think the biggest thing we've got to mention is he put the op down, mm -hmm. didn't carry it into the next. A lot of ults here to play around. Trent has his ult, Leaf has his ult too. Nothing to speak of on the side of the defense. That was a very far drone. It's all to find out if Osbos is opping anywhere towards A site. You should but run. he's not either. He's using a rifle of his own. Lockdown will be invested. Trent still has the Hunter's Fury online. Yeah, it, it seems like they're pretty intent on sticking this one through. There is no misdirection. There's nothing found on the other side. Tex just tries to play on the knife's edge. Good A's going to get detained, but he shouldn't get punished. Should be okay. Still a little bit of a flood coming out, at least into back sight. But G2, they can just play post plant right now with that Harbor Ultimate and Hunter's Fury. They have so many tools at their disposal. Trent's going to clear everything out to make sure there's no funny business behind him. But now the reckoning. Wisps lighting up the sky oh. as they drop the... It's a beautiful combo, man. There's nowhere to go. And even if Icy gets a little bit of damage, he gets a little bit of info, he can buy his time. They've left Aspas in a 1v4. A tap of the spike is just a threat, surely. There's way too much to confirm that... That's all it is. A second tap now. Trent will fall. 70 HP, as the clock ticks away, he's gonna get his damage dealt, but G2 will get to eight. What a half. Just icing Ospos the entire half. That was the name of the game for G2. It's what happened last time around these two teams met on this map. I mean, it's not crazy positive to go, but eight and seven from Ospos on a first half eight. on Icebox like that? Yeah. Something has to change. We'll see if that's the case on the other side. the half, eight to four. And now, Ospos is gonna need to step up huge in this moment. He's the only duelist in the server right now, in terms of the actual agents. 14 and eight out from Valen. Yeah, he's playing like a duelist. Ridiculous performance so far. Look at this setup. Mm -hmm. look, at, look at the turret, the turret's so far back in spawn. You've got the alarm bot on A with the nano on top, but everyone else B. Yeah, last time around for Leviathan, that turret was their demise. Heaven was completely open, and it got abused. Will they fill the gap this time, or are they going to be very proactive and try to push the fight into Leaf or Icy on the other end? It was utility use from G2, but nothing on the other end. Leviathan don't even know that they saw anything like that. Yeah, the problem is this spike has been planted for a little while. Fock has been taking comp swings a little bit too far ahead. And again, into the face of the firing squad! But Tex shows he can shoot back! Leaves so weak, Tex is gonna have to do it on his own. 1v2 and they're both so fragile. Made of porcelain. Can he deliver the shots? Four bullets left, two targets to be found. One left. Can he spot the beanie? Yes, he can! Tex hits all four, his left gets a five. What a round from Leviathan. That Viper wall from G2, it's nothing like we've ever seen before. It cuts the site in half for the retake. And the start of the retake was so good for G2, but Tex, the shots remaining. that he just hit, being able to, to deduct where Leaf was, sticking that spike. Another day in the office for him as well. And he's sitting at 13 and 10. Leviathan needed that and they needed that bad. Marshall in the hands of Leaf, but that's really the only weaponry to speak of for the side of G2. All of them lit up and balanced in such a good spot, but I mean, with effectively a clay pot, how do you fight back? Yeah, that's a tough one. You, you almost found a timing amongst all that chaos of utility on the actual nest area of A, but Leviathan, they're just gonna contact in after the drone, use their utility. 
and suffocate all the players' backside. Double swings all around. Another, that's that wall I was mentioning. It's so odd. Yeah. So unique. Last player stands. Still seeing innovation on the map. Leaf left in a 1v3. Yeah, Tex is, uh, Tex is he's, he's heating up. up. Yep. Yeah. He's definitely heating up. For as quiet as he was in the first half, and he's turned a page. And a lot of good weaponry saved as well for Leviathan. Looking very similar to the start that G2 had. Albeit not winning the macro game, I would say, but the micro. It's kind of what you expect from Leviathan in, in this matchup. You expect them to be the ones that pop up individually against G2, and G2 to be the ones that take the more coordinated team approach. Another A default this time around. Leviathan opting to put King and Tex towards that B site. Prodding up. Again, look at how active Allen is getting. The wall's gonna go down, he's gonna find the timing. Oh my goodness. He slipped the net. Oh, and he spots them both. Rushes oh. the shot, so not able to clean him up. A little bit of damage dealt, but the cost was his life. And the cost was all that B space as well. All of B gathered right now. Text deposited. Lev, Lev have so many options here. They can rotate him back B and fill in with Tex. Mm -hmm. They can just leave him there and have him hit a late flank as they try to end A. I mean, the map is their oyster. It's gonna be a fake B hit though. And, and G2 aren't reading into it at all. Well, as soon as that harbor wall went up, Leaf popped his mollies. Mm -hmm. G2 knows something's amok. Yeah. They're holding their ground with no tap of the spike. They don't need to move. That would have been their cue, but Leaf might get timinged here. Mazzino. He's gone exploring. Finds Leaf as he tried to exit, and now they've inserted Aspas on the other side. This double, triple pump fake seems to be working out for Lev. Uh huh? The B players were just human drones at that point, and now Aspas, he turns into a lurk. He's gonna be met by Jonah P, and he deletes him. It's just such good timing out from Lev right now. This round has been gorgeous to watch. Yeah, you want to talk about running circles. That, that was a circle right there. Nasbos, he's not slowing down right now. Tries to land the shots onto Icy. Not able to best him, but the damage has been dealt. Icy's finding a little bit of value at the end, a parting gift. But look at Mazzino. He's already ahead of this. He yeah. was the one that got the entry at B, and he's all the way here to meet Icy. But Icy... Standing tall. It's gonna get a little bit closer to having the thrash up. But again, I, I mean, for as much as Icy's doing really cool things, they're gonna end up on Reddit, I'm sure. Lev's calling this round was beautiful. Yeah, King, he just, he called a phenomenal round. And the whole point of that was setting people up on the extremities. If it was A-side, it would have been Ospos. Towards B, it was Texan Mizino. And with the weapons that they had, they're basically human drones. One, the thing I really like about this approach too is that they aren't fully shoehorning themselves into one play. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything had a okay. If this doesn't work, then we still have this. There were layers to their Beautiful approach. Call there, boys. Hey. <laughs> yep. A good contingency plan for sure. But that's not just King there. He needs the info from Tex. He needs the info from Ospos to formulate that plan oh, and that's pick you, the right site. That's why you hear him there saying like, "Exactly, call boys." Yeah. Exactly. Had to point that one out. So, G2. Their economy, it's not looking too hot right now. Icy with the only rifle, he saved it from the previous round. Yeah, and he's so close again to having the thrash. Mm -hmm. But this is danger. This Viper wall is still so interesting, but it looks like Leviathan have a good read on how to deal with it. Just bait it out, understanding that G2 like to play on the right side of it for the most part. I mean, they're just doing such a good job at creating all these acute angles. Mm -hmm. Given the walls that they have, the Cascade, the Viper wall, the other harbor wall. They, they baited out almost every single piece of harbor utility. All that's left is the cove. Oh, that dart's gonna get so much info. Two found, a third there. Good shock dart chip damage as well from Trent. Again, harbor's utility goes up. And this time, they're done playing games. They're fully committing out onto the hit. Remember, they didn't have much of a buy on the side of G2, and that rifle is still in play. They burned the clock down so low, but is it going to be enough? I see now as a thrash online. Does he drop a weapon and try to invest it? No, he's just sticking it out. He's got to be careful here. 
There's so much danger, but very nicely handled with the ult. The thrifty round win for G2. Wow. G2 with the MasterCard thrifty and the way that they've just done it. That was insane. Cycling the utility. And Icy with the entry on the top against Tex. That's the cue to start investing more layers of utility. Osboss, he just gets caught. Seconds. That wall goes down at any time. It's so unique. It's so odd. You're not used to playing against something like this, so you don't know all the looks. Good job. And the looks are working out. Now two rounds between these two. The first thrifty of the series going the way of G2. And back to the old ways they go. This is for all intents and purposes a rifle round for Lev. Osboss popping his blades. He's, he's put in work with the blades, especially Big entering slice. towards the A site, so I'm expecting big things out of him this round. He's got the drone to pave the way, but he does not follow the red carpet. Mm -hmm. B space Dust gathered again. Down. Last time around, that's what allowed Leviathan to just finesse around the map. Yeah, but it was off of insertions from everyone. Yep. This time there's nobody that's been inserted towards A. And the reclear of Trench Drone, nobody on Leviathan is here to see that or hear that he did that. So it's gonna be a full lean. It's gonna be a 5v5 towards this B site. Keep an eye on Valance's position and his ult. If they're ahead of this, mm -hmm. it's the a flood. really good spot to be in. The thing is, that ult cannot hit an updrafting jet. So the jet knives, Osboss, he gets tagged down a little bit. Doesn't get value. First the wall. Now the Reckoning at the ready. Off of the tap, he fully commits to it. Icy's gonna dump all of his utilities. They try to fight back sight. The Flood in full effect. But Leviathan or the dam. Four found. G2 keep kept back. Trent left in a 1v3. On the swing as Mazzino makes that three. As Lev gets to eight. What, what a, a response, yeah, man. Yeah, and, and what a massive round from Mazzino. In the face of... The Harbor Ultimate, he drops a cove on himself, plays around it on a knife's edge, gets a 3k at the end. That's why you see him with the thumbs up right there. His team is dabbing him up. They understand the timing that he made himself. Cove was perfect, nobody aware. The trade just couldn't get there for G2. A quick answer back from Leviathan, and now G2 taking their First time out of Icebox is the Reckoning. They have the Hunter Fury and Lockdown. This is all a recipe for success towards that A side of the map. And this time, G2, their approach. Okay, our game plan of playing behind this A wall and delaying the inevitable. Placing swarm grenade. We're gonna go for more mid control. Yeah, concerned with what's happening across that area of the map. That drone spotting two. Mm -hmm. Right here. What's well, a response from G2 here? Yeah, look drone. at this focus across mid. This is such a different look. Yeah, I, I think they're going to try to play just a full retake style this time around. You play more by the book. And Leviathan are reading into this. They understand no one's back right here. here. Well, it's interesting, though, because they don't re they don't have the reckoning for a retake attempt. They don't have the thrash for the retake attempt to flood behind it. Yeah. Oh. Um, so consistent with that ult, man, and he hits it again. And he hits Trent, who had a Hunter's Fury of his own. And so, so now, yeah, so now the lockdown, it gets so much value. It's, so, it's such a deep lockdown as well. Everyone has to play so far back. No real chance of a flood. They flush out the side and Asma fills in on the space behind it. Now they have a reckoning of their own that will only continue to cause chaos into the situation. Asma's with a little bit of friendly fire will finally go down as Tex fills in behind it. Numbers away the attack of Goop in his face and Tex cannot Player settle standing. shots. Icy's been really good. He's gonna have to 1v2 to win this round though. Mazzino weak. Comms on the flank. As is typical for him, but he yeah. doesn't even get in on the action. Mazzino cleans him up and we're tied. So well played from Leviathan. Calm with that random Hunter's Fury. He picked the perfect spot, the perfect opportunity to use it. And he takes out Trent of all players. The only guy that could have countered the lockdown. Yeah, low-key unlucky. Yeah, like, hey, unlucky, bro. <laughs> what can you do? 
You know, I mentioned at the beginning of the of the map that at the beginning of the series that these two teams are the best gun round teams in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Both at something like 60%, 6 and 58%, something like that, but they're topping the charts. Currently, they're sitting at 5 and 4 the way of left. So these two strengths that we expected coming into this uh, coming into this series for these two teams has delivered. That's why the score is 9 to 9 right now. Fighting tooth and nail. But you're right, that thrifty round that G2 got previously, it was kind of a saving grace of this half. That being said, it's the only round they won this half, so <laughs> that's why I say that. Dark going back site, and Zeno's Cove, ooh, not able to clear that out. Mm -hmm. So that will throw a wrinkle into their plans. Can they iron this out? The weapons just aren't there for G2. We saw what they could do last time around, but the site, the site. Oh <laughs> my gosh, I was gonna say, it could be so difficult to find kills. Again. You mentioned it a few moments ago. They've had a thrifty round win already. And surely Leviathan know that there's so many members of G2 here, but they have no space on the other side of the map. And it's, it's, it's the same approach. That's Remember a couple of rounds ago, they called a freeze. G2 didn't move. Mm -hmm. They're doing it again. And Trent has the entire mid line, so he doesn't need to. Now he's just going to lean over. He has his own Hunter's Fury if he wants to invest it. There's more danger in this, too. Previously, it was just a Vandal. This time, it's a Stinger and a Bulldog. The time, Doug. The time's running too low. Calm. He, he wanted to double back, but they realized the time is too low. They have to commit. The Hunter's Fury is taken out. Wow, what a fight on sight from Leviathan to take that round away. Trent, if he doesn't drop in that moment, the time was so low. He could have won solely off of the Hunter's Fury. Six of the last seven, the way of Lev, and yeah, that one was probably the closest we've yeah. seen so far. Down to the wire. And yeah, Trent falls, but it was the gunfight afterwards where everything Five. just went into chaos. Oh, man. Trent falling there certainly doesn't help, but Seriously. those fights right there on the other side of the cove, that's where the real trouble lied. Uh, you see Josh, I think he's saying the same thing I just said. Why are we peeking? All good, though, going into this next round. Leviathan finally take the lead. First time in this series. And it's the double walk up mid two. This is what it felt like what G2 was concerned about a couple of rounds ago on that mid presence. Yep. They've Try got the turret. Hit. Yeah, they've got the turret a little bit further back to cover. But all of Lev are back towards B. Text got deposited by King. King is going to go back A, but he's going to be met by an operator. An opping Jonah P. But the spike's being planted at the same time, so it's going to be a retake spike planted. and post plant on the B site. I wonder if there was a. No, there couldn't have been a tap on the third. Text is playing his position so nicely. He just quietly lures him in. Yeah, he should ask for the orb to be up, but it doesn't matter anyway. Second shot missed out from Jonah P. That op hasn't found very much value. Meanwhile, comp's position once again gorgeous. Leviathan really pushing the matter here as G2 are starting to crumble. Where's the response? What's the spark? I don't think there's one this round. He's got to try to save the op, but... He's hunted. I mean, he's surrounded. And yeah, they're trying to find him. That's a nice shot. Still two waiting on the other side. Can he try to hang on to this? White knuckling his way to keeping the op in hand and it will slip from his grasps. Leviathan in these moments, catching G2 off guard, icy. Doesn't commit fully to that reclear into. See the replay of that right here, yeah. Caught lack and thought that he was a little bit deeper and that from Leaf just jumping down, not expecting somebody to be close sight. Why would a Sova be there is probably what he's saying to himself. But you gotta be ready for everything. <laughs> That's the that's the yeah, he's laughing, yeah. That's the maniacal giggle of a Sova who's playing in cubby under hell. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's gotten away with. Absolutely. Pip away from having their fifth. Mm -hmm. And it's on this light eco. So I mean you have a lot of things you can you have to answer here. Do you fully invest into everything and kind of empty the cupboards, throw everything at them and kind of see what happens? Do you hang on to all of them and play for OT? This is a really difficult spot for G2. Yeah, and even if you get a couple kills into the round and you invest a couple ultimates, there's still a chance you don't win. What? What a molly lineup. What? That's disgusting work. Is that Tex? Yep. Disgusting work. And look at the shift because of that. You have, I mean, you have a to. A drone is used in mid. They're so worried that a fast timing was taken. 
the call the call on this is Thank gorgeous you. because you're right. They have to consider what could be happening mid. Meanwhile, yeah. they're going to fill in A for free. And, and, and who did they see in two last round? It was Tex pushed all the way up. I see was the only one playing back A. Oh my good, what a call yeah, from but King. The, but the question is now, do they invest their ults? G2 at five, they have everything they could want. Jonah P falls, and you imagine that decision is only getting harder with every passing moment. The kill feed heavily going the way of Lev. But it's turned. Still, there's no way they get away with this. There's no way they do it again. The spike's in heaven. There's no way King can get to it. Oh. But there, there are so many things. You're going to get faced into two as soon as you swing through this door. What can King do? He can isolate 1v1. They're both so weak. You've got to be careful playing this on the knife's edge. Can wow. King stabilize? One big step done. They've invested one of the ults, but it's a bait. King's repositioning 13 seconds left. Does he take the fight or does he go for the plant? Waits out the ult and now committing. First bit of utility through, and it's not going to tag him. He's got to know that he's there, but he's so weak. Another thrifty the way of G2. Too overconfident was Leviathan in this round. The thrifty. first two kills from Calm were enough. That's it. Just chill out. Another MasterCard thrifty. When you push that deep, G2 are going to take that any day of the week. This was that nerdy lineup that we saw at the beginning to clear the turret, and that's really what set this whole thing in motion. That's what led to the full focus mid. That's what led to the full A take for nothing. And that's what led to this disaster that happened out towards spawn. What an overextension. Leviathan have effectively given G2 an in once again. And I mean, I mean, it's not just an in. It's not like the window's been cracked. Yeah. They kicked the damn door down. Yeah, they because have four ults. The ultimates, exactly. What a mess of a situation. First one used. Can Calm find a kill? Again, so good with it. He's going to get a couple of tags. Oh, a but step made from Leaf. Not finding lethality. He's quietly tucked across the middle of the map. This is really deep. I don't know that they're expecting this. Trank gets caught asleep at the wheel. And now everything starts to come through. They don't know there's a second one! And Tex is on the punish! Oh, what a mess! Numbers the way of the attack. The spike will get planted. Now the reckoning out from Valen. If they try to flood behind this, it would what? be ideal. But forget about the flood. Valen gets spammed through the utility. I thought the door had been kicked down. But on the contrary, it's been slammed shut. Maybe it's on what a massive swing. Leaf realizing he has so many targets he has to deal with, so many angles to consider. Now tagged by the dart. No real time to speak of. Yeah. And now a shock in his face. He tries to create a little bit of space, but he cannot. What a response from Lev. That's now 7-4 the way of gun rounds for Leviathan. They've run away with it. Good mental fortitude from Leviathan to win that round back after how they lost the previous. A lot of teams can crumble in that moment. Maybe even lose out the map, but this double lurk play. Catching G2 off guard again. And what is that? I mean, that's just, what can you do? Mazzino's just spamming off of a... Bro, I was, no, I was begging you to bait me, bro. <laughs> what a beautiful call, man. The double yeah. insertion made right into the next round. We go Leviathan on map point. King has a pit. Tex one away from his ult. And the buy for G2 is not great. It's spotty. And yeah, the fighting squad of Leviathan is geared up towards B, but it's that one-two punch again of King and Tex holding the A space. Giving a plan to fall back at any moment. Good shock dart damage. No utility being broken yet. G2 have been this super team's kryptonite on Icebox. Mm -hmm. But Lev seem to have figured something out. They seem to have solved it. Early pit out from Jonah P towards A. And Lev should know here very soon that that's where all of it is. An alarm bot clear towards B. Yeah, that causes two players of G2 to shift over. But the hit is actually coming towards A site. Uh, it's interesting. I don't think they're convinced of this. The two nanos are still up. They haven't heard a tap of the spike. Uh -huh. And Leaf is starting to creep towards mid. 
I don't know that left. that was enough. Wasn't. Mazzino's perch. Yeah, Mazzino perched up above it. The Cove instantly cleared. Wow. And that's a spike dropped. They're going to have to deal with a pit of their own, though. How do they get past all the green? Ten seconds left. They haven't committed onto this yet. They haven't Ten found enough breathing left. room. They haven't found enough space. They've got to navigate the pit. They've got to navigate the lockdown. And the clock is burned. But they managed to get it down. Numbers away of the defense with the lighter weaponry. Can they respond? That was a massive one. And King is detained. Can they no. find him? Shot. Can they hunt him down? Yes, they can. G2 will get to 11. I thought for a second King may have gone unnoticed, but the professor, he's not falling for that one. And this is such a crazy match that we're witnessing so far. Ten this back left. and forth, it's got to be one of the best. What a lockdown as well from Leaf. Super unconventional. They just did so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. They have killed they just did. They did such a good job of making the site feel so crowded, mm -hmm. of making it feel so tight, so claustrophobic. But Stingers benefit in that moment. So it kind of worked against them. Oh, it's a fight. It's a brawl. This again decides OT, or we're headed to Abyss. Fallon holds the line. But Asbas tries to respond. He cannot. Barring a miracle from King, we're going the distance. We're going to be gifted with free Valorant. Can he pull this off? He has so much time to work with. He's biding his time. On the other end, G2 doubling up. Yeah, they realize that fear lies in the fact that they don't know where he is. Mm -hmm. There's really no utility that's given any info. Notice the spacing too. Trent kind of baiting Leaf in a way. Yeah. Worried that King might be in some weird off angle, some weird corner. Meanwhile, King can walk in to be unmolested. Mm -hmm. He breaks the alarm bot and the first molly, so G2 are aware now. But King can still play anywhere. He can, still he, biding his time. He can flip the map back. Ooh. Spotting one, and now position given away. A spit at their feet. 30 seconds left. Buys enough time to get the spike down. King looking for a little bit of safety, looking for a little bit of space. As the wall goes down, the first shot goes through a dink. But no kill found yet. Off the tap, King has to swing, and Trent's there to greet him. Overtime, baby. What a shot from Trent. Sitting King down. King, he played that really, really well. Walking all the way towards B site, but it just wasn't enough. The free bar on leave, the Phantom, it doesn't one shot. Spike down. And finally, the A aggression. All together, it works in the last round that they needed to bring this to OT. That's the whole purpose of this Viper wall. There's multi-use for it. Yeah, you can use it to cut the site in half for the retake, but you can also push with it. We finally see the value. And again, we've got to give Valen his flowers, man. 23 and 19. That's a hell of a performance from him. Insane. And this is, this is the first round, Doug, that G2 have used. Oh, no, sorry, that's Leviathan. I'm getting my teams mixed up right now. I was going to say they used a normal Viper wall for once. Overtime resetting the situation. Mm -hmm. G2 on the attack side. You've got Aspas and you've got King here. The only two close by. That Spit's going to buy some time. He's got the dash proc. The wall goes up. Bullet whizzing by. But no kill found. No kill found, but so much info found. Mazzino, he's here quickly on the rotate. Yeah, able to move the line of scrimmage, yes, but it's a little bit further, and it's still set up. Just when they think they have that part solved, another wall goes up. That was really nicely done by Com. He took all of that yep. space A to confirm that there was nothing else coming around, realizing that they aren't committing to the hit B, takes a step back. And now he's back in heaven. A, a, new, a new angle, but he can't connect, oh no! It's disaster for Com. Not able to contain. Not able to be the safety valve that Levita needed in that instance. And so they're going to turn back towards B. 35 seconds left of the round. The pressure could not be greater. 
With that one way being up, Ospas is repositioning to yellow. He might be able to find this window of opportunity as the exec is coming through. Remember, this was where he tried finding a kill at the very beginning of the round, and he wasn't able to do so. Can he succeed the second time around? I see into the swing. I see into the kill. It's high time. People start respecting G2, man. A flawless round. Wow. Leviathan, it looked like they had a read on what was going on, but sometimes it just doesn't even matter. Calm. I loved his play. He peaked from lower. Yeah, it was great. And then he went heaven, but he just couldn't connect when he needed to. The pressure, unsurmountable. And then it was just easy pickums on the actual site. Not a single gunfight going the way of Leviathan. G2 getting a little bit aggressive again, getting in the mix of things at A. Four and members here. And Leviathan doing their best to make a stand. This is their home turf. 12 and 3 in 2024 on this map. It's their playground. And Ospos, he's been the king of Icebox. Unmatched. Yeah, but Tex, oh my gosh, what a timing. Can he find value here again? Can he get away with it one more time? Returning to the scene of the crime, but this time dealt with. The spike out towards B, the alarm bot's still up. Position given away. Do they commit to this? They've left Mazino across the middle of the map. No target found. Look at the discipline out from G2, man. They're not giving him a single fight. Patience, his leaf almost gets punished. Pepper through, but responding. And now Mazzino on the prowl. Just be careful, that turret's gonna <laughs> sniff him out. Tricky little thing, but Mazzino was able to find safe passage, able to get across, and he has to be dealt with here. You cannot forget him. Look at that wall. Leaving He's got a pixel he can play off of. Leaving just the slivers. Icy's gonna fall as well. Fallon and Trent, the only two left standing. Trent down to zero health. Fallon, can he be this good? The on low time and a 1v4, there's no shot. One round of OT was not enough to settle us. We go again. Mazzino played that beautifully. Playing to his advantages, understanding that once he lives in that moment, G2 have to deal with him. And the wall to isolate, but that beginning entry from Tex to spread the defense thin. What a play to make in a match. So risky. That was so well played from Mazzino, living in that nice moment, lurk, Ian. putting his own wall up, <laughs> using that Phantom as a spam. The only Phantom player on the side of Leviathan, on this map at least. And so into the second round we go. G2 back on attack. A really aggressive spot here for Aspas. That's danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Able to get away. Fleeing. That spit's gonna hurt, forget it. Oh, how? Oh, I thought he was going to get away, but he's been flushed out. And again, G2 get what they want, they reset the map. And how many times have G2 gotten the first blood on this attacking side and re-hit the same side? So that's why you see Leviathan holding their ground even though they hear everybody making audio cues running back. It just feels like G2 have gotten so many of them. Yeah, but this time around, Valen taking the right approach. Heading back towards that B side. They know that the B orb is still up. Keep in mind, Jonah P, he grabbed the A orb and got a kill. He's one off of that Viper's Pit. That's the win condition into this round. I, I don't know that anyone saw the Cascade go up across the middle of the map. That's why they have everyone back A. Yep. And so now they know the other harbor wall has gone up towards B. All of the utilities lighting up the map. And all the mollies aren't here. They're a step behind the play, and Tex was way too far up. Now the spike planted, the pit invested. Right here. And they don't, I mean, they don't have a drone. They don't, they don't really have anything to deal with this pit. At best, the shock dart comes back up off of a cooldown, but. Yeah, but even then, I mean. Yep. Valen, up close. Crosshair drained, but Trent over the top to suppress the fire helps him out. 
King's left alone. Trent gets three, G2 again on map point. Clean shots from Trent to close out that round, but the setup of G2 using utility to flush out Mizzino, who oftentimes plays that gen area. There's nothing you can do about that. He tried to go away, tried to get away unscathed. It's decimated, Osboss. Barely see Trent in that moment. That last shot, too easy for him. I love the, the hard hitting comps that come out. Yeah, yeah. From players in tense mode. And then again, I mean, remember, Vitality did a bit of the same. Mm -hmm. Time for a field test. What a different map. I mean, it couldn't be any more Placing different, really. Leviathan, once again, forced to make a stand, forced to keep this map alive. This is such a fascinating adaptation. We just saw Leaf recall, the, recall his utility before the uh, stuff got cleared. Yeah, he didn't know how it got broken previously. This time sitting around there waiting to see if, if it was a Molly lineup. Indeed it was. So he gets the info that he needs. He'll have that turret up in about like five seconds. He'll put it in mid. It is. Yeah, it's up now. And now it's back up across the middle of the map and he, he held that spot up until it was back up. Yeah, he's not falling for any of Leviathan's mid shenanigans this time around. Remember Tex jumping through the window in the previous OT. And remember this time it's a fake, it's a pump fake again. Mm -hmm. You draw out the harbor wall back towards A, you're starting to take space elsewhere on the map. It's a couple different layers to this, but that harbor wall towards A site indicates that it's most likely G2 are playing back site and not and close like angles, that's why Leviathan walk all the way up. That's another Blank attempt to clear Leaf's utility. Texas Nano back towards B long, but nothing is found. They all have gotten out onto A though, with very little resistance. A deep alarm bot out. Remember how heroic Fallon was in OT. To get to OT. Can he deliver once more? Leviathan have been so proactive in these moments in these post plants. That ult's gonna be brutal, the spam coming through the wall. One for one found. Both Killjoy sitting on the sideline for the rest of the round as numbers equalize back and forth. Tit for tat. The kill feed will not decide. Leafs left in a 1v2, now one. But he's so weak and Calm was over the top. He had no idea. Leviathan, keep us again. 10 HP and a dream. Calm, he's been so good all map long. He stays controlled in that moment. Takes out Leaf, who's completely unaware. There's no way for you to know Sova's on top of you in that moment. Almost a collat there for Tex. But the trade it was too much. Trent, he got caught out jumping out with his knife. And the spacing there was so yep. great. You watch Aspas dash back. Oh and my god, I'm so dead. glad. You had to swing that. You that's, my, that's on me, that's <laughs> on me, that's on me, okay? And you mentioned how when it goes this far in, into a game with the scope that you're under, the littlest of differences can change the entire game. Neither team budging. Who's gonna surrender first? Who will concede? This is just map one. The willpower of both these teams so far, it's its outstanding. Calm hopping up to 410 and clearing that early dart. Oh, that cascade box is really Oh my gosh! P, tucked behind the cascade, and they have no idea that he's there. But will the water betray him? There was somebody right to his left! Mazzino, Spidey senses, net him the kill! From so close to so far. Again, the advantage, the way of Lev. And is that what does it? G2 have been able to win the opening round in OT these last two bouts. We'll see if Leviathan can respond here. I mean, the discipline of Aspas in this moment to hold all of B by himself. The confidence you have to have as well. Once he hears this orb go up, he's gonna know. Oh. A great I molly. Mean, everything is considered. They cut off the line and they're gonna buy time for the rotate. But they managed to get through. Yes, yeah, a little beaten, a little battered. 30 seconds left. But they do manage to succeed. Now they're 
Oh, Nando's doing a bit of the same. They've scaled so far back into Swan. Dre, this is dangerous. What a shot from King. Right here. Trent responding, and they know that Mazzino's there. Look at the ping on the minimap. Yeah, but Calm. They've got him figured out, but you're right. Calm over the top. Can he get there in time? No. A 3v3 is... Things slow down. Spam coming through. 2 HP left for Leaf. Will they flush him out of the spot? Leaf is so damn snappy. The timing got icy. Now a 2v2 Leaf. Again, 2 HP refusing to die. Last and it's going to have to fall onto him again against Aspas. The one-way smoke. It's a jump spot. Aspas will clean him up. Leviathan will get the defuse. And they're on map point. It's absolute madness in here. Switching sides. The level of play we're witnessing, Leaf coming up huge. But Aspas, the guy that I was talking about in the beginning of that actual mid to B. Yeah, that's that's a feels Batman moment. But Aspas, the one who was in B main the entire way through, he re re reconciled with his team, goes all the way back and wins the 1v1 like that. And no emotion. Completely void. That's what you need in times like these. It's so intense. That's the Aspas way. Can G2 respond? Yeah, they need to do what they couldn't do. Win the defensive side in overtime. Just to tie it back up and give another crack at it. Tex. Remember all these tiny mind games around the Killjoy utility. He's going to get cleared. Three members holding him. I wonder if they saw a barrel, and that's why this is happening. Well, I also think there's just been so much focus around the utility that they've got to understand something is there. The orb goes up, and that should be enough of a cue. Mm -hmm. Tex needs to get out of there. His turret's gone. Comes back with his team, Jonah P. He's a lone warrior in Snowman. Nobody to help him. That dart's going to sniff him out. He's by himself. You're absolutely right. Like a stalk severed from a plan and left to wither. But now they're joining him. Now he's got help. The spike has been planted. And again, this harbor utility will buy time. The one benefit, though, is that Leaf is ahead of it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And they have utility of their own. There's still a Molly for King, and there's still a Shock Dart for Calm. Previously divided, now reunited. A 5v5, potentially for the map. This would be ridiculous. King is going to be on this late flank. Keep a close eye on the minimap. Fallon pushing forward, trying to forge his way through. Only one kill found, though. And there's the flank. That could be the deadliest. That could be the most dangerous. It didn't get to half, but Leaf's got to do it by himself. And again, position given away. G2 cannot close the deal. Leviathan stands strong, and they take out. Pushes strap ups. Yeah, and, and it's also a map that's kind of like Icebox in terms of how far the angles are. And when you think of maps like Icebox, you tend to favor a team that has Aspas on it, especially if you can get the operator up and running. Now, keep in mind, he got shut out in that last game, just like Tex just gets shut down right here on this B push. I mean, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. That was all spam. Yeah, they try to get a little aggressive and fight on the other side of the wall, but it just goes the way of the attack. And I'm such a fan of Viper on this map. I'm surprised more teams don't run it. Oh. Easy. Yeah, calm. You've been spotted. He's going to jump spot, get a little bit more info, but he has to back up now. But yeah, the Viper wall being able to go back and forth whenever you want. The map's so big. Having that up for rotations or even just putting doubt in the defensive mind it can be so crucial for this attacking composition that has, you know, Icy who could be at two places at once. Has Astro who could put a star anywhere. Oh, they spotted him. Spotted him. They should have spotted him, but only one was seen. And that's enough to make him flip the map. So 45 seconds left, G2 decide they don't like what they've seen A. They're going back B. And, and, and you could beat the rotation. They're already ahead of this. This Viper wall will come up. It'll give them a free B site. As long as King doesn't sneak all the way into the back of sight. 30 seconds left. Should be free for G2. Oh, he's going to try. Forget about sneaking in. They just want to take the fight. But the wall didn't even go up. The timing on that. It just wasn't quite there. Keep a close eye on the middle of the map. You've got two players who are going for a late flank and leaf. I mean, a bullet between his eyes never stood a shot. I see in Jonah P. Left into what? A 2v4. A little bit messy there. Oh gosh, it's messy everywhere, isn't it? Masino has gotten three on the round. He's trying to tuck tail. He's trying to get away. I see no real idea where he is. 
What is this? What is this, what is this ah. game of cat? What is this game of cat and mouse? Mazzino gets his fourth. The defuse will come through and level get the pistol. Exactly. Too many angles to look at. It could be on top of you, behind you. Have no idea where Calm is in that moment. Just too much. But there, look, the smokes aren't even out yet. So a bit of a disconnect. Going back to the B site for G2 and Leviathan. If you're going to make a mistake at a time like this, they're going to take full advantage of it. Leviathan continue their reign on the defensive side of Abyss. We saw the stat, they have a 66% win rate on defense. And a pistol round like that, that's going to put you ahead. Mazzino now has a Vandal in full armor because he got four into that round. He's two off of the Reckoning. You imagine he's going to get it farming some of these Ecos. And then he'll have that ultimate for the bonus round. I mean, Leviathan are setting themselves up very well right now if they don't get ecoed. He's got a full vandal, full armor. I mean, they've really invested into this, you're right. It's it's just so hard for the attacking side to work the map with classics. Yeah. Yeah, you have one marshal out of Icy, and he might actually get faced here. Maybe Mazzino takes a jiggle, but the discipline of yeah. Leviathan, it's pretty good right now. Mazzino now peeks out. Boom. My ult's ready. Well, headshot. That pays off. Uh-huh. If they can somehow yoink that as well, that's an upgrade. It, and that was, I mean, that was the full armor rifle. I mean, do you invest this Yoru ultimate to grab that? I guess not. Techs are already funneling the rifles back into spawn. Boss, boss. They just handed the rifle over to Leaf, or the marshal uh -huh. over to Leaf. Camera taken I see might go here. They found my wire. TP's into the site. Seconds left. The Viper wall. Creating a disconnect for Tex. He's trying to look over it, but yeah. G2 are playing this very disciplined as well. Look at the, look at how difficult it is to deal with this Astro Viper comp. I mean, he has the tiniest of windows that he can see through. The thing is, Balan doesn't have any stars, so the post plan it's kind of limited right now. Oh, patience on the trigger. Those two bullets cost him his life. Not able to punish, but they did manage to get the spike down. The paranoia is all the way out. Tran and Balan both weak king. Trying to hunt him down, he will succeed. And Joan is gonna have to pull off. Look, one of the most ridiculous plays we've ever seen, and he's two steps closer to doing it. Tex is so weak, he's gotten three, but the defuse is gonna come through. Surely there's no time! What? He gets the kills, but Lev get the round. That is a Pyrrhic victory if I've ever seen one. What is going on? They had so many rifles. Yeah, they win the round, but at what cost? I mean, they're lucky to get away with that. Those shots that Jonah P just hit. Out of this world. The Viper Orb that went up to make Tex low. I mean, even the kill on Calm there, settling the shots. My goodness, if Ospos is even on the ledge in that moment, they lose the round. Yeah, Calm, he said it right there. What the bleep, but... Yeah, the economy, it's in shambles right now for Leviathan, at least in this round. They're going to have to go for a bit of a light buy. Now they have the Ural they're going to have to deal with too. It is being used very early on in mid, though. A lot of space and info gathered, but... It's tough in this moment. I see he's left to his own devices. Yeah, he has some Astra smokes to cover him. Yeah, but he's sticking it. I mean, he had a gate crash out. He's in a really nice spot here. Oh! There was just the tiniest of pixels, but I don't think he saw it. He needs to get out of here, get out of here quickly. The stinger can be so deadly. It's a bit of a half flood from Leviathan, at least clearing close spawn. They've left Trent by himself. Is this a tough spot to be in? But instead of committing to getting the plant down, he swings out, gets a kill onto Tex. Still spamming, still trying to fight, still trying to establish control on the site. Meanwhile, a great response from Kam. Yeah, and that's an upgrade for him as well. He does a deep dart. He's able to get a rifle, and now if he wants to, he can apply pressure on the flank. But time is of the essence. He's got to go. He's going Ice, for it. Icy seems aware of the fact that there could be someone on the prowl, and he would be correct. Trent spotting an elbow. Again, this is all just buying time, but time really goes the way of G2 here. Kam is all the way behind. He hears Icy running around. He's going to get a free kill, baby. But again, the spike has been going on for so long. I mean, at best, what, they contain him here? Or they just frag him through, they're just gonna mow him over! That's so well played! 
and disastrous for G2. It's all off the back of Calm, though. The pressure alone that he just applied. Everyone has to turn around. That's the cue for everybody in CT at B to run out and flood the site. Getting that kill, getting that upgrade, converting the kill onto Icy. Everyone turns around to deal with this. Look at that. Take a look at the MasterCard Thrifty one more time. Nobody looking at the players at, in B site running forward. It's disastrous for G2. After what was a great eco round. Light armor on four members. And a couple of stingers. So they were able to buy around it and still be able to buy into the next. But Lev in full control here. I mean, yeah, but exactly. Still, the way that you lost the last map, going into the way that you lost the last two rounds. It's so damning on the mental. Yeah, especially in this last one. And now King is doing that. Trent was on his way down. It, Doug, it feels like it's getting out of control very, very quickly for the side of G2. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a very early timeout from Josh. I don't normally make a habit of quoting the host uh, in situations like this, but GB did mention G2 are known for how they struggle with resilience, or how they fight through adversity with resilience, how they manage to navigate those things. And the truth of the matter is, under the brightest lights of the year, under the biggest stage of the year, that will be tested. And that's exactly what's happening to G2 here. Leviathan have come out of this with an excellent game plan. And yes, a couple things have gone their way, but this has been gorgeous to watch. And King is leading from the front. I've lost track of how many kills he's got so far, but he's popping off yeah, just his, for that round. And, and his paranoias have been on point as well. Yeah. So much value. You saw it at the end there. We saw it on one of the retakes. Yeah, what happened to Trent here? Oh, he's flashed. He was on the way down, bro. <laughs> just no idea where he was. I mean, Icy gets the flash there to try to set himself up, but the timing just wasn't quite there. So it will be a ah, cheeky little cam spot. I like this one. Yes. Good for the retake, good for setting up Ospos. I wonder if that gets a deep line into A main for him to just swing off of. That seems like that's what the setup is. Mm -hmm. But it's aggression. All the way up B main and out. A bit of a push and pull now, but no space gathered from the side of G2. Well, I think, I think that's a whole approach on yep. a play like that from the very beginning is to just shove them back, jam them at the very beginning of the round. And now if they want to clear this, they have to wait out, they have to either wait out the harbor wall. Use utility. Or use utility, yeah. Or mm -hmm. face check it, I guess. And then who knows what's waiting on the other side. Yeah, and so far the rotations from Lev, it was push B main, take control of it, go back, fight mid, come come back again. It's it's much like their sunset approach. If you watch Leviathan on sunset, one of their best maps, they take B main control a lot. Go all the way back, listen for the audio cues of teams re-clearing that space. And they kind of meet you step by step. That being said, this is a way, way bigger map. Right here. There's so much more to deal with, so much more to consider. Yeah, that cam, that, that's a that's nasty cam. That's a crazy cam. cam, yep. I get such a deep angle. Jonah P. 30 seconds left. With the silent walk up, he will take out Mazzino, so that is big. The cam is not seen! They're not aware of it! Oh, Tex almost makes a meal of it. It's only able to find one. Bounce on the response, and now they can push their way back towards A. With the spike in hand again. The architect for G2 pushes forward. Bounce dead. And they hadn't they weren't able to get the spike down. It's well out of reach. There's nobody who can scoop it up here. Can he get it down in time? It's gonna be so close. One second left. Now a 2v2, the flash in his face, the off comes through for Aspas. Icy's left by himself. One man standing between him, between G2 and Leviathan's fifth round. Can they flush him out? Comms dart is not up, he's got two shocks. I can't tell how soon it will be. Meanwhile, Aspas with the op. Trained on main. You best believe that's where the swing is coming from, but it's a rare miss. He's forcing Calm to deal with it, and he's bought time. Switching weapons, 30 bullets now. Aspas on the tap, he's baiting him. He's tempting him into the swing. He's tempting him into the fight, and he holds the line. He calls the bluff. What a play from the kid. A 1v2, yeah, he flashes his teammate of leave, trying to get him out. 
But it doesn't matter the power of Yoru. We just saw it in full effect. The TP all the way back into main. So many angles that Leviathan, Kalm, and Ospos have to clear. And maybe, just maybe. Oh, that's that nasty cam again. I gotta got shout that out. That is that is nasty work right that's there. Filthy, yeah. yeah. Valen, good on him for getting that trade. That easily could have been two kills. But Ospos with that operator, you kind of have to approach the retake a little bit slower. If he has a rifle, maybe you can speed up, clear those angles faster. But I see he played that very, very well. And so the Red Bull Clutch gets G2 on the board. Three ults to speak of. Levitan still in the lead, still with plenty of money too. Aggression again. This time all the way in A main. Ospas is going to take a very deep line. And the reaction is to walk all the way up B. Fred on this line, flash goes through. Good night. Jonah P puts him to sleep, and now they've invested the pit, too. Yeah, and used to follow up utility as well. The Astra suck right there. Just to secure it. Jonah P, the run and gun. Oh, Mizino using the Viper Wall against G2. <laughs> it's just chaos. Yeah, meeting his teammate, a little bit of a spray down amongst friends, but Valen, he gets taken out somehow. He's still in the pit. And you've got two over the top. They're still looking for him. He's They're dead. trying to find him, and they do. Now the wall goes up, and they fill in behind it. And now it's become a spam battle. And again, Trent's really close here, uncomfortably close. But he does have a salt. Has to take a step back if he wants to invest it. Ospas has already sticking. got it to half. He had the no nano run, to cover. Run. What a gorgeous layering of utility. Calm will fall. That will secure the round. Even with such an advantage that G2 had into this round, think of the entry, think of the Viper's Pit, follow up utility, it still is so close. These post plants are, are kind of getting away from G2. It's something that they normally are very crisp on. Something that they win cleanly. That's a nice shot for me. Did a couple of really big ones. you ready for this? Nate. That's a crazy cliffhanger, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. You hit me with a you ready for I was this, waiting. Right? I was yeah. waiting. I don't know. I don't know. I was ready. I guess the timeout. I guess that's what he was foreshadowing. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the Astro Star that just went up on bridge back towards B. Might be a pickup star. Maybe just trying to spot out the type of aggression. Concealment. So they clear the door out at the very beginning of the round. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, G2, they got to be very careful. Every time they put this Astra smoke up, King has just spammed it. It's a bit of a hard read into how G2 like to approach when that smoke goes up. I'd like to see a bit of a change, maybe a pickup, try to punish King in that moment. Make him play a little bit more passive, second guess himself from holding it. Man, the cams that Tex has. I mean, he, he's been cooking. Yeah, that's another crazy one. It's the power of Cypher versus Killjoy. On a map with such long sight lines, he's able to see when the hit will actually come a lot sooner than later. That being said, it's not going to matter in this round because it's a full A commit. They smoked out Heaven, but Kham's ahead of it already. Mm -hmm. At least I thought he was going to fully take the space, but he doesn't commit to it. I guess waiting for his teammates on the other side. King does have a paranoia. This is danger. There's a the paranoia. Great paranoia. It's only one for one, though. How much more can they find? Trent down low. Into the face of two up over the top. Gives up on the first, connects on the second. I see in Valen left alone to try to make a stand in this round to try to keep them back in the face of three. He has one flash. And there it is, invested, the spam coming through. Now he's on his own. Oh, he repositioned so beautifully, but Aspas knew exactly where he was. King will get the defuse, Lev will get to five. And you're right, yeah, it was one for one in a, in a heaven there. But the problem is that early pick that King got, it's still numbers game for Leviathan. It was a 5v4, yeah, you go one for one, now it's a 4v3. The trades will go in favor of Leviathan in this round. It was pretty convincing, Trent. And the fact that he got a second there, that was awesome. It just wasn't quite enough. So off the timeout, much like Icebox, Leviathan answer back swiftly. 
and the economy now broken and in shambles for G2. Right here. Aspas has an outlaw full armor. And as you were just mentioning, the situation is not great in the G2 camp. Mm -hmm. It's a great buy from Aspas using the outlaw. Almost connects onto that one on Icy. Just a fingertip away. That's a really deep gate crash, but it's a fake. Mm -hmm. And so be between the fake all the way deep down mid and the fact that you have Astro Stars on both sides, there's no real idea of what's happening across the map. The problem is they're guessing correctly. They're two facing here. They have found them, but how do they commit past this? It's so tough. The choke is so small. They're going to have to give King. He gets out of dodge. Comrie positions too. Yeah, wisely so. They could have gotten flooded by those classics, the, the specter that they heard. Doing a decent job of getting a lot of this space and a lot of utility out from left. Yeah, this, this is very well played from the anchors of the A site. Now they're all posted up just right outside. There. And with this harbor, you can isolate one side if you want to, but we're going to walk in instead. Mazzino gets taken out. One bullet left. Now reloading, buying just enough time, or at least thought he did, but calm. On the swing, punishes him. I mean, well, what in the world do they do here? Valen is a, a classic, Trent's dead. That's not going to connect there. Yeah. Kam and King are playing at a very, very high level right now. Kam, he seems very aware of the possibilities and the situations. And also, he's not hesitating on the timings that he needs to take. He hears that reload animation, like you said. He doesn't go right away. He waits a little bit, but then he goes for the wide swing. Leaf just has no chance in that moment. And even this right here, the poise to just do a little bit of jiggle, not overextend too Dude, much. he's still lurking? What is that guy doing? Fucking bad. <laughs> Does he not? And look at the scoreboard. The two players that are hitting a flow state in this match, in this map of Abyss, 11 and 4, 10 and 4, both A anchors. They have A on lockdown. Who are you going to run into? You want to run into Aspas and Cypher Utility and a Harbor? Or these two kids popping off? Remember, we mentioned too at the beginning of the series, it's a supporting staff that when they struggle, Lev does. Mm -hmm. But they're the ones. They're putting up a ridiculous performance. And when they do, it's just a wash. Ah, oh, Naspas has this off. There are four waiting on the other side. The smoke comes through. The peak comes out. It's a leg shot. Enough to buy some time. Tex with 10 HP continuing to fight. What a risky play from Tex. The confidence is brewing for Leviathan right now. Uh, for good reason. Getting away with murder. G2 have, have been successful up until this point before. They've gotten into post plane situations, but they lose the plot at this point. They've been here. They've got to find a way to find success here. Lockdown dealt with. Now they're going to have to deal with all of these deep walls. What's the second layer? Is there a second layer? It's off the tap. Two kills already found. And a cast. Yeah. And now they have the code. The code. They can play around. Mazzino's going to get spammed as he tried to get aggressive. But it still hasn't. I mean, it hasn't gotten half yet. Trenzo has a shot at this. But how do you deal with the targets? How do you deal with Aspas? How do you deal with Calm? Yeah. It's a close one, but not close enough. Leviathan convert another round, another retake win. And Trent, in that moment, he tried. He tried pre firing Aspas. He was 10 HP. Dude, how do you swing like that with 10 HP as Tex? He's a maniac. That's what happens when you play confidently and play aggressive. What a nice shock from Com. Com has been so good this map. The last, even the last map. Boys, the form please, that someone get in the code. Dang, I'm running, bro. <laughs> I'm just getting the code. The form that Calm gets in these tournaments as it goes on, it's, it's something that needs to be studied. Tex is really aggressive here. I'm wondering if that star we saw from earlier is to counter this exact play. Possibly. It doesn't matter when you have Mazzino from the top ropes taking out Jonah P. Weapon here. A lot of audio cues being heard from Tex. Surely he doesn't go for it. No, I think with the smoke that just went up to, I mean, he wouldn't even really have a line. And this is a very interesting off angle from Aspas and A-Main. I know we're still watching Hot the B players, but if G2 do decide to go back and they don't make audio cues doing it, he could really get punished. Oh, but he hears that alarm bot being opened up. They're going to get up a decent amount towards mid, mm -hmm. but there's a trip keeping them back. 
and then King close by. Yeah, this is very difficult for G2 to break through. The dart's not going to tag anyone out from Khan, but as soon as the trip gets cleared, King realizes what's ahead of him. The paranoia. Oh, it doesn't connect. What? Spike down. Valen kill text. That's a ridiculous shot, but Mazzino's still gotten three on the round. 30 seconds left. And for as much as G2 try dialing up something different, as much as G2 try creating chaos, I mean, Lev are just a step ahead. There's always an answer. Leviathan filling the gaps very well. The picks don't go their way. That Yoru clone and the swing behind it was too much for King. But the follow up from Mizino. That's off of a tag of a camp? Another camp, by the way. Yo. Spike not I mean, Tex is, yeah, Tex is like four and eight right now. Oh, you, he missed the jump. I was about to gas the guy up too, man. That's crazy. I fell off the map. GG guys, good luck. <laughs> Ian Bosch, where are you going? <laughs> Like, he, as he might be four and eight, he might be falling off the map, you know, tough. For this mid to B, they actually gain a lot of space, but they're doing it on eco rounds. I mean, if they had weapons. I look at the look at the timeline. It's yeah. not that they're not getting space. It's not that they're not getting the spike down. It's they're losing the post plan situations. I believe it was five of eight have been defuses. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't, I couldn't I see the first two. Another new camp. Very aggressive this time. Time to jump. Buying time for the members of Leviathan to rotate if need be. Instead, they're going to react and take a main control. There's an alarm button that's keeping them back. Into the drone. Okay. Aspas has been found. Yeah. But I think the impressive thing, though, is yeah, they found Aspas, but they cleared out the alarm bot that was keeping left back. Mm -hmm. And so now there's a trap setup. They could fully fill in an A main and crunch and B. If they try to rotate back in, they've got a paranoia yeah. setup out from King. This is such a good setup, and it was all off of pushing and clearing that alarm bot out. You want to fight it. And the follow up dart now solidifies the info that this will be a B hit. But we've seen how deadly the retakes of Leviathan have been in this half. But the one difference is they've got the cosmic divide they can play around. This is a new wrinkle into the fold, and look at Leaf's position. He's going to hear so much and be able to calm everything that's happening on the other side. King has to be careful, waiting on the other side of the box, but they don't expect him. They don't know he's there. And again, King makes claim for the throne. And you know what? Calm goes unchecked, unnoticed now. Here. The contingency plan again. It falls apart. They've gotten the spike down, but this time Leaf might be able to equalize. Last player standing. What a filthy 3K, but again, Com has to do it on his own. He's spotted Icy, he's gonna try to flush him out, switch to the classic, and Icy cleans him up. G2 gets a three. Leaf with a monstrous flank. Absolutely destroying everybody. I love the bait approach, but these shots, that was ridiculous. To get so close to that, I mean, so off of off of a proper lifeline, G2 get their third round. Any victory counts here. Anything is valuable. Cover going out. And it looks like it's just going to be an A approach. So many ultimates will be invested here. The Yoru ultimate. There is two trips to there play is, off of. There is a flank out from King. There's a lot on Leaf here. He's got expected. He's got to know that he's here, but he hears him knife out. Again, the trap. Can Icy hold the line? 35 HP now. He continues to get peppered. He continues to get tagged, but he continues to live. G2 now settling and slowing things down just a bit. It's just a tap, and they don't know Jonah P is there, but he's dealt with, he's cleaned up, disposed of. Now numbers the way of live as they're trying to push their way forward to the ninth round of the half. The Hunter Fury, and he has no idea where he is. Only one tag found. The second will go through, not connecting. Calm trying to at least get it to half. Fallon's not able to stun those shots. Finally connects, but now he's left alone. In a 1v2. Got to deliver against Ospas on the other side. The time is in his favor. The wide swing. Fallon gets to four. The Red Bull clutch for G2. Oh my goodness. What a back and forth battle.
And much like Icebox, it's another 8-4 half, this time favoring Leviathan. The retakes were amazing. But the change, G2 playing more confidently. They're still in this thing. Those last two rounds are a lifeline. A little bit of hope injected into the situation, albeit brief. We've got a special interview right now as we've got Bella standing by with G2 CEO, Alban, on the stage right now. Bella. Now, the battle of these two teams, it's been, it's been absolutely insane. So, it, and now we're gonna get to see what G2 do with this comp on defense. Given that they're down four rounds, given that they've got this funny Astra, Yoru, Viper, what, mm -hmm. I mean, what does this look like on defense? You have a lot of stall, you have a lot of delay, a lot of stuff for the retake. But the problem is going up against Leviathan's a comp on attack, it's not just one entry that can break through. You have an omen that can TB. Oh, like yeah. so. But look at the Molly, the preparation. A little bit of chip damage is really good on pistol rounds. So G2 doing their due diligence, setting themselves up for a beneficial retake. And we've seen how aggressive Leviathan are in the post plan. That's now the second cascade invested towards window. And so it's effectively just shut them out of the round, or shut them out of the sight. Concealment. Valen, be careful. Tex into the face, not able to connect. Leviathan again. The value that they're able to find here is ridiculous. G2 are not able to get any footing on the situation. A tap of the defuse, but that's all it is. As Jonah P meets his demise, he's been dealt with. As has G2. Another pistol in the way of Lev. So many different layers that G2 have to walk through. Yeah, you clear you clear close, but all of a sudden proactivity into Nest. Once you have Nest, Mazzino could cut the site in half with the harbor wall. And it's just too hard. And you have to break through so many sets of utility. And that's where I think we see a difference of the harbor versus the Viper Standing in situations mm -hmm. like this. As a harbor, you can be so much more dynamic with so what more you flexible. Want to do. Yeah, exactly. You you realize there's a gap because you don't have a smoke of heaven because of omen smoke timings. You can drop one there with Viper. You're you're kind of committed to where you invest at the first time around. Yeah. And it really felt. Last player standing. Hmm. Flawless. Hey. Yeah. You okay. don't give vibe. You, you, you don't get ultimate orbs. Well. Uh, you don't give ultimate orbs. On to the next. I've never. I've never had a <laughs> second round go that quick. <laughs> Very well. Uh, Hey, I mean, I mean, right. it, it, it beats right. waiting for the spike to be planted. I mean, if you give Osboss yeah, or Mazzino yeah. more kills, all of a sudden on the bonus round, they have an ultimate. Yeah, I, I appreciate them hurrying this along. <laughs> <laughs> Getting into the next. Uh, all right. The harbor utility across the middle of the map now with the dart waiting on the other side, instantly cleared. And, and something I want to talk about is two operators on either end. Osboss, he has an operator. Icy has an operator. Difference is, I see no armor to it. Mm -hmm. I wonder how this head-to-head -head is going to fare. Enemy We've seen how deadly Osboss can be with an operator on the attacking side. But we saw, I mean, we saw a couple of clips on the side of G2 as well. Mm -hmm. So we will see. Okay. The first shot rattled, and now they know there at least is one on the on the defensive side. And now confidence for Osboss to take more angles. Okay. Both teams aware now that there's an operator in play. The thing is, when you're on the defensive side and there's an attack op, it makes you feel like you can't really hold certain angles that you normally would against a rifle. And that's why all of this A space is conceded. It's going to be another retake. Tex is going to be hitting this late flank. Whoa. The cove gets cleared, but the spike goes down. The paranoid through. It's not going to connect again. Leaf is in a really good spot as Tex pushes all the way forward. Oh, he's got the timing, Doug. If he continues to go, he's got it. He's going to get two. Oh, Whoa. what a turn from Trent. Just narrowly avoiding that. So the one for one continues to go their way. The thing is, they've got, again, Leaf in a really good spot. But Aspas plucks him out of the window. As Trent gets another 2v2, they're both so weak, though. They cannot stand. They cannot deliver. Lev get to 11. Again, there's too much utility from the side of the Vietan. G2 don't have a lot to work with here. When Icy falls in that moment, that's your only flash. We're getting a replay of, of what happened in the previous round, but with Icy dying, you have no flashes on the board. How do you break through 
The omen smoke, you have to body check it. Now you're running into an operator. There's a player on an off angle that is king. It's too easy for Leviathan in these moments. G2's composition is getting exposed right now. And the attack op is still in play. G2, they have to invest into this. Leviathan are at 11 rounds. And There's nothing to cover. I mean, it's deja vu. Much like the previous round, exactly. This time, Tex losing his duel early against Jonah P. Two Bulldogs, three, and two Guardians for G2. They've got to find a way to convert this round. They have to find a way to win. Otherwise, it's going to be series point, and they're going to be on a broken bye. You look at the different layers. You have an omen smoke and also a harbor wall to block off actual spawn. It's it's a free A site again. Calm. He gets spammed. It's a dead calm. You're right, but they've gotten the spike down. Can Lev without a, a 3v5? Wave crashing. Again, G2 have to find a way to win here, or it's wraps. Jonah P needs to speed this up. But so King, far back. Yeah, King's going to check him here. Osboss, the forefront. Oh, just barely. Ooh. Not spotting anyone. You're right. Jonah P, the slow burn. And it might pay off. There's nobody looking. He's going to find his timing, isn't he? There he goes. Diffuse is coming through for IC as well. G2 will get to five. Can they keep the weapons, though? That's the key. Any weapon loss hurts. What a snap. They keep two weapons into the next. One of them upgraded. Yeah, nasty stuff. Nasty stuff, but keep in mind, that was a 5v3 in benefit of G2. Oh, he jump spotted Calm. Good heads up play, but can you rely on that? I don't think you can. No, what I is that running gun? That is crazy, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm playing A again. Well, <laughs> well we know where Leaf's headed. Mm -hmm. I do like that even though it's 11 to 5, the spirits of G2 are still high. They know they're not out of this tournament yet. Yeah, but what a, I mean, what a I boost of confidence it would be. Yeah. The reckoning towards B. And Joe P is left by himself. I see was there with him, but TP's away. He's got a lot to answer all on his own, but he's finding enough cover in all of the utility, all of the smokes. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, Karam has kept, Karam has crept forward, but does he realize he's not alone? Does he realize there's company? Yes, he does. What an entry. Flushing him out of the site. Right here. And now Trent's going to try to do what Jonah P could not. This time he's got help, though. I see his join the fray. No one can peek out, though, from the side of G2. You're going to get opt. I mean, look at how huddled up they are. There's everyone waiting behind back Jenny. They're all here. They're so patient. They're just waiting for the utility to be in their favor. You see a dart. You see a harbor wall go up. Just now, Aspas will creep up forward. They're still really huddled up. They're all together. Misery loves company, and it's not going their way. Trent and Balan getting a couple, but he's by himself now. Leviathan, again, just destroyed G2. This has been such a stomp. I, I said it. This map can be very similar to Icebox in the way of the sight lines and everything. And we're seeing the approach on the attacking side of Leviathan be similar to that. If you recall on A site when Leviathan would hit, they would wait for the utility to be in their favor and then go on their second wave, maybe the third wave even. And against the Viper, they have the advantage. They have way more rechargeables. Fallon threw down so many sight smokes. Leviathan just Bided their time, waited for them to go away. Tom's on his own here. That gravity will adjust a little bit off the mark. Not enough to punish. Oh, boss again, he's just going to walk all the way up mid. It's like I'm watching a scent attack. They've smoked off the turret. And so you've got Leaf, who kind of has to peek a little bit. Mm -hmm. But besides, he's not super worried about it. The drone yeah. up from Trent will clear. But that's a drone you would much rather have for the retake. Yeah, oh, Tex. Needs to be careful. 29 HP now. They're going to hunt him down. I don't think they're going to let him live. I mean, they don't, they don't Good really have the oh. guns. G2 don't. They've got to find a way to get more of an advantage. That will certainly help. No real way to upgrade the weapon, but they have a numbers advantage. And I, I feel like we haven't really been able to say that much this, have this map at all. Mm -hmm. Ice is popping his ult. He's going to clear across the middle of the map. 
There are only two here right, from G2. Right. That A. Trent's walled off of one, left. leaving Valen to attempt to hold the line by himself. The only one with vision, and he's flushed out of the sight. Right, Le Leviathan's clear game plan is just use utility second. He's got the op in hand. Pushing forward a little bit. And they're just picking them apart. It's over. Ripping them to shreds. The knives continue to take lives as Trent is left alone. 55 HP, he's gonna find his one with two bullets left and two targets to be dealt with. He cannot. A map worthy of the number one seed.